wish I could tell some of you what you want to hear, but uh, this is not going to be a good review for me, I can tell you that much. Anyway, the story and plot are completely recycled from the original movie, so giving you a synopsis would just be me repeating myself. I'll watch the original review to put this in perspective for you. There's some CG that is unneeded and even stupid in this, but those are the only points that I'm really taking against this. Other than that, they had some really believable characters. I, they felt more believable than the characters in the original film. And I'm talking Freddy himself and the parents in specific. They just feel more realistic. And the fact that Freddy is very menacing and has this new presence to him in his demeanor and his actions, that's impressive to me, that they were able to change the way this guy feels. Like, you're not just looking at him and saying, that's not Freddy Krueger, this guy... I'm gonna say this guy actually feels like a better Freddy Krueger than the original. I'm not taking anything away from Robert Englund. I'm saying that Freddy just wasn't written right in the original. This one feels more like a pedophile. He feels more evil. He feels like that guy who would have been liked by children and who feels like he would have really betrayed his community. I honestly like this more than the original. I gave it a 5 out of 5 because it just wasn't the original. I mean that this film is not going to be that classic phenomenon that Wes Craven made. This is not going to be the major career movie for Robert England, or this isn't going to be like... It's not that movie. It's a really damn good interpretation, and I have to pay it respect for that. I do like it more than the original just because it feels more real and when it feels more real it's scarier. I still think the original Freddy was a terrific villain and I know some of you are really gonna hate me for saying that this Freddy is better. This Freddy is better. The original just feels more like a maniac. Like he's someone you would always suspect of doing something wrong. It's something, it's some person that no kid would ever get near or would run away from the moment he shows up. This guy actually gives a presence that he is likable and that he is gentle and then turns out to be this monstrous man. Even when he's stalking people, he is practically gentle about this. It is so surreal. So I have to give it credit where credit is due. It's still not getting a rating as high as A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. But I'm saying this was a movie that was well done. And I think you should see it. Have a good night and leave any requests you have in the comments section below. And please don't hate me for this. <laughs>